Oh, gosh. Kelly Hansen filling in for Ben Lieber today. Ben is on the road with the Vikings. He will be back with us on Monday. Thanks for hanging out yeah, this afternoon. It's been fun. Very fun. Had a good time with Free for All Friday. Mm -hmm. We got some gift ideas. And now it is cookie time, Yay. people. Time for a little sweet treat. So today we're making a treat that is perfectly sweet and salty, and it's perfectly chewy and mm -hmm. crunchy. It's like all wait. the balance. Elizabeth is baking with Sarah Kiefer. She's the cookie genius behind the viral pan banging cookies and the author of the book 100 cookies which would make a great holiday gift by the way okay fire up your oven it is day eight of the 12 days of cookies presented by bridgman's ice cream It is cookie baking time. This is my dear friend, Sarah Kiefer. I love getting to visit you, Sarah. I love when you come over. It's so much <laughs> fun. And we're baking cookies today uh, for our annual 12 Days of Cookies extravaganza. Um, I'm loving this idea of some white chocolate happening in here. What's the name of this cookie? These are white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. Oh, great. But because it's the holidays, we're gonna jazz them up just a little bit and we're gonna add some um, cocoa nibs and orange jammy pieces. Oh. Again. Or you could use candied orange peel. This is your favorite ingredient, these orange jammy bits. <laughs> they really are. They have become my favorite They're ingredient. so cool. We'll put a link on where you can order those, too, if you want to yes. do it. But it's nice to know that you can just pop by the store and cut up the orange peel, too. Yes, absolutely. Okay, all right. What are we going to start with? Okay, butter? Butter, of course. Get we're it. Cream some butter. Yeah, this is great. And then we're going to throw in some brown sugar. Mm-hmm. We have a little bit more brown than white. How in good here. is this coppery bowl over here? I gotta get that. Yeah, you gotta get your pink mixer oh, and your copper bowl. That copper bowl, though, <laughs> is really something. Okay, then I got granulated sugar. This is going in, okay. Throw that in, yep. and we're just gonna cream it until it's nice and combined. So then we're gonna add an egg yolk. Okay. I, use, I do often add egg yolks to my cookie recipes. Okay. They just add some fat and they create help create a fudgy center, which so these cookies good. is the main part of the cookie. Yeah, that's a great pro tip because a lot of recipes are just going to call for two eggs. Right. But making that little tweak just changes the texture a little bit. Right. Great. So then we're just doing eggs and vanilla. Okay. And we're going to, oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, what's your plan here? <laughs> All right. So we're going to just mix those up. So that's nice and combined. Great. Then we're going to add our dry ingredients. Yeah, this is so simple. Now, are you a fan of people weighing out their ingredients? Yes, okay. for sure. Because I have found that since I got a scale, it really, you kind of tell yourself that it makes things more complicated, but in reality, it makes it a lot easier. So much easier. You're not dealing with measuring cups. You're not dirtying as many dishes. It's yep. just like weigh it out and call it a day. Yeah, when I switched, it was a long time ago, but I also felt like this is ridiculous. It's yes. fine, because you just, you learn, and I think we think in cups, so it's hard to picture if you say 100 grams. I don't know it's how so much that hard. Means. Yeah, I can't visualize it. Right. But then once you start doing it, you just start memorizing, and it does make a difference in being more precise. It totally does, yeah, it's worth it. Okay, cover up that We're little. We're gonna cover up our little, little mixer. shy mixer. <laughs> She doesn't want you to see what's going on <laughs> under there. All right. And voila. I just don't like the, the flower spray. Yep. Okay, and then once that's almost combined, we're going to add these add-ins. And I have um, macadamia nuts and white chocolate, and I like to cut them pretty fine. Oh, yeah. White chocolate doesn't melt the same as chocolate. Interesting. Um, it's like kind of holds on to its shape longer. So I find if I cut it a little more fine, then it's not like these big chunks of white chocolate in the cookies. Great. And same with the macadamia nuts. Okay, just yeah. Kind of big and I think you're right. I love this cuz I think sometimes when you have something with macadamia nut and it's a whole macadamia yeah, nut. Yeah, it's just like you're just eating a nut. That's the whole bite. Yeah. You don't get a balanced flavor. Yeah. Okay. And then the other two friends. That little orange. Yum. Bits and Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. I it's like very difficult for me to not dig in right now cuz they just look so Good. So we just want to make sure that's really combined. And that looks great. And then we're just going to scoop. And I know you always use the cookie scoop. We love this. I love the cookie scoop. And these I actually also roll into a ball. Okay. I like how they, um, I do the scoop so they're all the same size because mm -hmm. that's important. Yep. 
Um, but then they take a little bit longer to flatten, mm -hmm. and we want a puffed center. Because after they bake, you take a spoon and just press the center in. Oh! And that's what gives them their little fudgy center. Oh my gosh. And then you've got a little bit of golden brown on the top. All yes. right, lady. And then my other trick is flaky salt. Yeah. And I like to put that on before baking. Okay. I've found when you don't, like if you put it on right after, oftentimes you taste the salt like it's just salt. Salt. But when it bakes in, it still has a nice salty taste, but it's not as like sharp. Yeah. And these look so good. This one has my name on it. I gotta get to the fudgy center yeah, too, yeah, yeah. because you know, look. Oh yeah. Yep. This is really delicious. Cookie cheers, my cheers. friend. Let's do a duel. Oh. <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Mm. This is delicious. If you thought you don't love a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie, because you get like giant white chocolate and giant macadamia nuts. This is like this makes it so much more balanced because you're not getting one super salty bite and one super sweet bite. It balances it out. Yeah, they really mix well in the dough. And I think the cocoa nibs, that bitter taste, just balances white chocolate really well too. So good. And the texture is perfection per usual. Thank you. Oh, Sarah. Can't wait for that <laughs> next cookbook, uh, even though she won't tell me what it is. I'm very sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Make these. Yum. <laughs> She can't spill all oh, the secrets, man. even though I was trying to get it out of her. Whatever she does next, it'll be wonderful. Sarah is so yeah. talented. Oh, I kind of want to make those. Mm -hmm. I love a chewy, oh, I love a chewy cookie. So good. Mm, Sarah's yummy. recipe is posted on TwinCitiesLive.com, and I keep mentioning it. Her books are really fantastic, particularly 100 cookies. I say if, if you're going to get one like baking cookie book, that's the one that's to get. That's a fun gift. Oh, it's so good. It's really fun. Uh, you can follow her vanilla bean blog for more recipes too. And 12 Days of Cookies is brought to you by Bridgman's Ice Cream and they pair every sweet treat with a flavor of their premium ice cream. Mm. Today, it is coconut commotion. Get after it, you get to try it. It's got Can't little, wait. this has like little chocolate bits in it just like the cookies did. Mm. And a coconut ice cream, so mm. good. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that feels like summer. I know. Whoa. Oh, mm. Tasty. Are there like little bits of coconut yeah, in there too? Yeah, it's like crunchy little coconut. Mm. Big fan. Yum, okay. yum. Mm. Okay, you can visit the Bridgman's Old Fashioned Ice Cream Parlor in Woodbury. You can dine at the Bridgman's Restaurant in Duluth, or you can ship their ice cream nationwide. Do it. Or just to Edina, like Ben Lieber, via <laughs> goldbelly.com. Also available in lots of grocery stores. More Twin Cities Live coming up after this.